Hi all, in this video, let's learn about the differences between the null and undefined in the JavaScript. This is the most commonly asked interview question. So not only for the interview question, the main reason we need to understand about the null and undefined is these are runtime errors in JavaScript. In order to avoid the runtime errors in the JavaScript, we need to understand null and undefined well. Okay, so let's get started. So first thing is like, let's discuss about the undefined. You have declared a variable and you are not assigning any value to it. By default, JavaScript engine will assign undefined to this number variable. Okay, so that's the reason if I print this or if I use this, the value in this number will be undefined. Here you can see this is undefined. If you try to find the type of this undefined, you'll be getting undefined. The type of undefined is that undefined itself because in, uh, in data types of the JavaScript, undefined is also one of the data type. That's the reason that undefined type is also undefined, fine. And now, if you see these undefined or code errors, sometimes, for example, you have a object like test object, okay? Now, you have a test object and you want to find test.prop. You want to find the test.prop. And what you'll be getting, you'll be getting, so let me refresh this, the console, okay? You have a test object and you are trying to connect you are trying to access one of the property in the test object you can see here this prop object property is not available in this object but you are trying to access it in this scenarios you will be getting undefined okay it means this is an runtime error so now you need to understand these are runtime errors will which causes more issues all the runtime errors which we get in the javascript mostly because of null or undefined so that's the reason before you are accessing any of the property which is not present in the object okay then you'll be getting undefined then you need to make sure that whether this property is there or not then only you need to proceed for the further conditions it means whenever you do any of the operations please make sure that you are going to check for the undefined and the nulls then only proceed further fine and in this case you can use an optional chain operator like this so that you, it will not break at the runtime at least okay fine so not only this reason there are many of the programmatical issues where the undefined would be produced for example here i have a sum method okay i have a sum function where i am calling this function sum if i am not returning anything if i am returning a what happens you will be getting 30 this is fine but if i am not returning anything what happens this function is going to return back an undefined for us because any function is going to return some value in the same way, here you'll be getting some value being returned and you're not returning anything. So that's the reason it is going to return you undefined. You need to understand this and you need to understand in this case also you'll be getting undefined and in this case also you'll be getting undefined. If you understand these type of things, when you get undefined exactly, then you can handle it easily so that you can stop the runtime errors. Fine. So these are some of the use cases or some of the coding issues you'll be getting when you work with the undefined okay fine now let's understand about the nulls so null is a like you, you can see null is like an a variable is an empty or you are assigning a variable uh, to a non-existing value okay this is like you need to explicitly give a value it is not like javascript is going to give uh, implicitly you need to assign null okay it means this variable is uh, not not pointing to any of the object not pointing to any of the non-existing values okay it is pointing to non-existing value fine so now what you you have assigned a null to it now if you print it yes you will be getting a null and if you print the type of null this would be interesting if you print the type of the null it would be getting an object the type of null is an object so i have done a special video on that you can see why does the type of null return an object so in detailly, I have explained that here in this video. I've explained in detail about why if, if you do type of null, it is going to return object. I have explained in detail in this video. I will keep this at the end cards and also at the top annotations as well. Please check, check this video as well so that you can understand what is the type of null, why we are getting type of null is object. So most of the cases, yes, we know type of null is an object, but why we are getting that you can see in the brief in that video. Coming to the why we will be getting this null means. So if I have an element in the document, okay, 
I'm accessing that element, then you will be getting that element. If you don't have that element in the DOM, but if you still try to access that element, then you will be getting a null here. So programmatical error is like this. So if you feel there is an element in the DOM, you can access it. But if the element is not there in the DOM, and if you still try to access that element, this document dot get element by ID is going to return back null. This is also you need to understand. So these are some of the use cases where null and undefined will be getting. If you understand them and if you handle the right checks, whether it is null, then you do something. Uh, whether it is undefined, then you should not proceed further. So those type of things, if you take care, then the, uh, you will not be getting any of the runtime errors. So this is one of the example. If you try to access a DOM node, which is not present, you'll be getting a null here. Fine. So let's understand a few more things, scenarios. If you compare null with undefined, with the double equals, you'll be getting true. You can see here, it is true. But this is a wrong value. This is a wrong result because this happens because it's undefined. When you keep this double equal to what happens is JavaScript automatically converts these types into sing any of the type and it is going to give you the result. Okay. It means when you keep this double equal to type cohesion is going to work behind the screens and the JavaScript is going to convert these into a single values. Okay. And it is going to compare that. That's the reason you are getting true. But this is a false. I mean, this is a wrong result. You should not compare like this. But the same if you try with the triple equal to, you'll be getting false because JavaScript is not going to convert implicit conversions. Type quotient will not occur when you use this triple equal to. That's the reason when you do this equation, you'll be getting a false here. So same wise, you'll be having, see, in JavaScript, null and undefined are considered as a falsy values. Okay, apart from that, you have zero, empty string, nan. So there are a couple of falsy values. In that null and undefined are treated as a falsy values. What does it mean? So if you use any of the conditional statement, if I write an if statement, okay, if I do some calculation, if I do something, if you are getting the result as null, it means this is a falsy value. You will not go inside this if block. That is what the falsy value means. So in that way, null and undefined are the falsy values. Coming to the one more part is like, if you use this null and undefined in the mathematical operations, what happens? So see, I'm using num1, okay, and null, and num2 and null. So let me refresh this once again. Sometimes this console will be giving some wrong inputs. So, yep, let's re refresh it and let me check it once again. See here, we can use null and undefined in the arithmetical operations as well. But understand that, see, I'm using null here for num1. Okay, what you got 10, you got 10 as a result. In, it means in this scenario, what happens is null is treated as a zero. Okay, null is treated as zero. It doesn't mean that null is equal to zero. When null is used in the arithmetic operation, okay, then null will be treated as zero. That is the reason here what happens zero plus 10. This is what it is going to happen. Okay, null it is treated as zero in the math mathematical operations, but it is not equal to zero. But whereas in num2, you will be having undefined. What happens here is when you try to add an addition with the undefined plus 10, you will be resulted in nan. It's a not a number. Okay. So this is a not a number. So when you involve undefined in the mathematical operations, you will be getting a no not a number. Nan. This is what you can see here. So that's the reason. Keep in mind that whenever you are working with JavaScript, take care of this nulls and undefined. You can have a nullish operator like this. So you can check like a check for null undefined and you can use any of the value. For example, if you want sum, okay, you use this nullish operator, double question mark, okay. Now, if this sum is undefined or null, then this value would be assigned. So in this way, this is one of the way where you can check this nullish collision operator is the one where you can check at a time whether it is a null or whether it is an undefined. If you want to check both the cases, this is a well thing. If not, if you want to check for undefined specific or for undefined null, check that. But before doing any of the operations on this null and undefined in the JavaScript, so in order to avoid the runtime issues, please make a check and proceed further. So this is all about like, and difference between the null and undefined. 
hope you understand the video so like this we have a number of videos in the rethinking ui channel please have a look at it thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos